Hi, my name is Donna. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do an update on my angelfish buddy. I got buddy from my neighbors who were moving and they didn't want him anymore. They were thinking of flushing him down the toilet, which is horrible, or leaving him behind, which is also horrible because the house is still empty after eight months. So I had got Buddy and there is a video on how I acquired Buddy. I'll put the link down below in the description and you can go check out that video. But in today's video, I just wanted to fix up Buddy's tank a little bit. So when I got Buddy, I got his tank with him. He didn't have a stand for the tank. It was basically just like a coffee table. It was really low, so you had to really bend over to look at him. So I did buy a new stand for the tank. So anyways, I got this nice uh, new stand that I could put the tank on, but um, the tank basically was kind of bare. Uh, the bottom is bare with just a little bit of white gravel. But I recently got these plants and uh, they have nothing to grow into. So they're just kind of floating, you know, close to the bottom or just sitting on the bottom. So uh, what I wanted to do today was, I'm gonna be adding some soil on the bottom for the plants. It's uh, volcanic soil and the plants really thrive in that. I have that in all my other tanks. So what I have to basically do is take Buddy out, put him in a smaller tank, and take out most of the water because when I add the soil, it's very dirty and messy. Um, it will create the water to be all brown and black. So I wanna be able to put the soil in when the water is really low. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take out some water before I catch Buddy. So I just use my hose and my siphon. I squeeze this to get the water up. And it goes into the pail. There, I think the water's low enough for me to catch him. But what I'm going to do first is take out those plants because he's going to hide behind them. Alright, so I caught him actually, it wasn't even hard at all. I just went in there with the net, he went against the side of the tank and in he went. So here he is. So I'm going to finish up the tank as quick as I can to get him back in there. So now I'm going to get rid of this uh, white gravel or maybe just kind of shove it to the back. Just as long as I don't, I don't see it at the front. Maybe shove it to the back or take some of it out and those remove those little rocks and uh, clean the glass. There's a little bit of algae there on the glass and siphon out the bottom of all any you know if there's any dirt on the bottom it looks pretty clean but i'm sure it's underneath this uh, driftwood piece so i'm just going to clean the bottom and uh, get it all ready for the new soil all right so now i'm just going to lightly rinse the soil it is a soil so you can't really wash it as well as you can like with gravel because it kind of just breaks apart in your hand. It's a soil but they're little wee, uh, balls, like balls of soil. Alright now I'm going to fill it up with the soil and the water is going to turn all brown. So I got all the soil in, um, if I need more I could put more in later, I just can't see it. You see how dirty it got? That's why I wanted to take out my angelfish because it's so dirty. So I did put the plants on, in, I put them all on the left side. And what I'm going to do now is just fill the water and turn on the filter and wait for it to clear. Alright so I got all the soil in, I planted the, all the plants on the left side there and just kept the driftwood there in the middle. 
and just waiting for the water to clear up. It's clearing up uh, pretty fast and um, I think it's going to look okay. So here's all the plants I got. These taller ones I believe are Java ferns. I don't remember the names of these ones but um, they're pretty nice. I like them. I just put them all in one corner. So if a fish wants to hide they can just hide amongst these plants here. So I got some Cory cats. I got some panda Cory cats. I got six of them. There's three right here. And oh, there's a powder blue Garami. I got two of these. They're a uh, dwarf. They won't get very big. They're a very nice fish and very, um, you know, um, calm, not so aggressive. And Cory cats like to live in a group. And they all move together. See, they follow each other. There's another one over here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. I love these garamis. They're so beautiful. I used to keep them like many, many years ago. And these two are males. Let's see if we can find the other one. There he is. Alright, now I gotta put the angelfish in and see what he does. Alright, so Buddy is in and he was just looking at that garami. Buddy lost his color when he was in the you know, the smaller tank. See how he's lighter? Well, everybody looks to be getting along. So I got my six panda quarries and two uh, dwarf uh, powder blue garamis, which are beautiful. They're both males. And uh, buddy, my angelfish doesn't seem to be, you know, minding that there's other fish in the tank. He did live with a guppy when I got him. Uh, so he was used to living with, you know, a smaller fish. He hasn't even looked at the quarries yet. I don't think they even bother him. But he was looking at the Grammys and the Grammys were looking at him, but there has been no aggression so far anyways. So I'm going to check back in with them in the morning. I'm going to be turning off the light. It's nighttime now and I will sit here and watch them. I can't film it because it'll be too dark. I'm just going to watch them because usually when you turn off the lights, that's when fish will chase. And um, when I first turn the light on in the morning, that's when fish will chase. So if there's no chasing, that's great. Anyways, the tank looks good and I like how the plants are. All the Cory cats go into there. They all go and hide there and the, and the Grammys were in there too. So I'm really glad I made that little island of plants. I call it my little island. Actually, I might put rocks on the right side, just, just a pile of rocks. And that way they have another place to go underneath and hide or sleep. Well, this is a few days later and they all seem to be getting along. The Grammys are doing well. The Corys are doing well, and so is Buddy the Angelfish. Buddy doesn't even care about the other fish, so he's fine with them. Look at this. He got his color back too. So since the light on the lid here is really small, it doesn't cover the whole tank. Um, the plants aren't really getting the light that they need. So I did buy a new lid. I bought a glass lid and I bought a light that goes right across and is meant for plant growth. So I'm going to replace this lid with the glass lid and it's going to look much better.
there it looks much better so it's um it's a plant spectrum led light by fluval and i think it's neat you gotta see how bright the tank looks now so look at the difference the light is brighter and the plants are getting light and this light is awesome it has uh three settings but you can dim you can dim the white setting i'll just show you i'm going to dim it that's really low and then it dims right back up to really bright. I can see everything inside the tank and the plants will love that. Then there's a blue light which can be dimmed as well. That's really low. And then this is high. And then it has the green, a green setting which is this one. You can't dim that or make it higher but that's about it. And then the off. So this is the on setting. And I can download an app and I can use my phone to change the light settings, change, you know, change, turn them off, turn them on, change the colors or dim it. So I'm going to be doing that shortly um, with that. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with this tank. It looks uh, pretty good now. I'm probably going to add some rocks on the right hand side, maybe some more plants. But for now, uh, it looks okay and everybody's looks happy and healthy and they're all eating. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it.